Hello. Hey, uh, we're doing the uh, the post the post prog bother gauge call. Oh, I had no idea. How did it go today? Bad. <laughs> it's not a good one. I can hear the falling. mic falling. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Ugh. Oh man. No, I today's episode it was a Cosmo mirror match, right? That's the one. Oh, dude, that one I remember. It was so tough because I was like <laughs> right on the edge of killing him for like five turns in a row. He played it really well. Uh I think I told him. That. I as as individuals who could see his hand, we would disagree. Um What you think he played it poorly? So the first uh, the first game, you like from turn five onward just had Volcasaurus lethal and just didn't do it. No, no, no. I definitely no, 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 no. I I definitely did not. I, I okay. Sure How I, I hate to do this that. to you, Gage. Pull it up. Let, let, let's take a look at this. Cause roll I, back I, the tape. Oh my god. Roll back the tape. All right. Uh, let's just go from. When does it start, chat? This is turn one, turn two. Here we go. Um, yeah, the pre-reasoning is probably a good place to do it. So here... This is life points, because you're, you're covering it there. Uh, he is at 13, and you're at 35. 13, 35. So okay. from here on out, you, you twin twist the back row, and then uh, you have a slip in hand. Um, so you can just go dogfighter into the Dark Destroyer, grab a 5... Tribute Summon Slip, Valk the Delta Shuttle. You say I have a slip in hand. Right? Yeah. I have two slip. One of them is banished. Yeah. You summon it so, later in the turn. Or later oh. in the game, I guess. I'm trying to think. The one thing I was trying to figure out is I have Brain Con in hand here. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing I've been sitting on. So the line I kept thinking of was Brain Con, take Delta Shuttle, bump into Slip, and then make Volca. But you can't target Dark Destroyer. So I yeah. never could come to that. Yeah, You're I think saying you, crash the Dogfighter. I think you got tunneled on the, the Brain Con. But if you crash the Dogfighter, go to a now 5. That up, yeah, I yeah. could have just shifted the, the Dogfighter to attack, poked some, any 5, summon the Slip. But yeah. After the okay. reasoning, we weren't mm. sure if you had a five remaining in deck, but you were on three Delta Shuttle, right? So then, or some um, number of Delta Shuttle. Go back to the list. Let me let me take. A look. Yeah, let me check. I think I do play D three Delta. Now you bring that up, <laughs> I, I that actually yeah. makes me seem really stupid. Yeah, because that that's yeah. definitely just right in front of my face. And it was like five turns of this, and then at the very end, you go for something resembling that play, and well, we're I like, go for something because no. I just I knew I was going to lose the next turn. Yeah, and then but, um. um and then Alex, this is his opener for game two. You end on, I think, slip pass. It's Sidra, two kaijus, forerunner, twin twister. And he can just go Sidra, contact fuse. Uh, he draws like e Telly, yep. or he draws farm girl. Sure. So he can go twin twist, pitch uh, any of the kaijus here. Special Sidra, contact off, farm girl is lethal. And he just doesn't do it. There's like nine different <laughs> combos of an OTK in this hand, and he picks the one that doesn't work by giving you a non-machine monster. And then, of course, I'm sure you've heard later in the turn, uh, he baits out like your interaction by threatening a contact oh, fuse with yeah, your worm I, monster. I heard that the Oasis makes it a worm. Not That's kind of a I silly thing. But I, it was I, just I, like, I, we're just staring at this board like, I can't believe both of them. We thought you were trying to like sneak in a, a a trip to the banning so that you could get take dante off or something no that definitely wasn't it so like that the worm one here i felt uh, silly after somebody told me that i did i'm glad that i had the heads up read though to be able to beat the second side yeah the second that side was good and stuff though but it, it's sad that he had it but um no that okay wow the um the game one i feel way stupider now because i thought I, you can't see like the raw footage. I was sitting there for at least like a half hour in game one. Yeah. Just, just like, I'm like, Alex, I'm so sorry. I think I have this, but I can't figure it out. And, oh uh, man, that is, that's bleak. These were, <laughs> then, and then getting to see Alex's hand, he just like beefs to lethal was like, I'm going to, I got to fucking do it, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Uh, I didn't think that one was as miserable as it came That's prog though. I, I noticed you were playing mind master, but you haven't done the, uh, the FTK, the like terror bad <laughs> FTK. <laughs> Yeah, nothing crazy with the Mind Master. I think yeah. all we figured out with this one that I could do is, like, cycle through, um, like, the best guys and get to Tin Can. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, that's There's something in fine. a later episode that you'll find out. No yeah. spoilers, but Mind Master gets crazier. If you would expect. It gets, um, it gets better. 
No, nah, Prague is Prague. Uh, we were then we were then looking up uh, the podcast that you do. The table, right? Mm-hmm. Is it called? Mm-hmm. It's not yes. on YouTube. Uh, I think we have like one or two episodes on YouTube right now. We found there is a competing podcast called The Table, which is about it is a uh, a an atheist and a Christian debate. Nah, they get on opposite ends of the table and they give insight on scripture. Damn, we should hit them up for a collab. Yeah, that would go crazy, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, I can't. Ah, two hundred forty-four subscribers. They definitely do already have the name first. Yeah, you're fucked. You're so fucked. When did they start? You may have beat them to it. Uh, Oh, that is like they've been doing this for a year. That, uh, that's all right. I'm just claiming it. It's Biblical fine. prophecy coming true? <laughs> that's true. I this Girl is... takeover. Uh-uh. Waiting, Girl takeover. Dating waiting, dating, and married. Hold up. Okay, which one of them do you think is waiting? Which one do you think is dating? And which one do you think is married? Left is married. Girl currently chatting is waiting. They're both dating. For sure. Yeah. Surprise, the girls have 12. taken over this episode. <laughs> they, look so, they look like kids. Yeah, I, was, I, I should hope that they're waiting. They're like 14. <laughs> yeah, please. Wait, wait, a, wait a lot longer. Love this. Let's go, girls. Go, Jaden. Go, Jaden. That's what I'm saying. No, we searched. Um, Someone told me it was called the Nimcast. The Nimcast. And, which I know is a lie. But when searching, maybe there's no H. When searching Nimcast, it came up with two real estate listen- uh, listings for Greenville, South Carolina homes. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yeah. What's that second one there? Oh. NYMcast? What's, it's the vertical video one. I'm not talking about lot management. What's this? <laughs> this person's got to charge their fucking phone, bro. Oh, my God. It's charging. Wait, her name is oh, it's Nim with multiple X. I thought it was literally Nim Nim. I, I, yeah, <laughs> shit, I got a rebrand. I was like, damn it, no. <laughs> Fast dating. Uh, okay, let me let me ask you about this this uh this Greenville lot, which we did check out. Um, all right, check it out. All right, you fucking with here? Hold up. You see this room, right? Yeah. You fucking with this room? So we turn to the uh, the right here, and immediately off from the main room, we have like. Oh man, they're really taking their time. Is that supposed to be an island? What is that supposed yeah, it's, to be? It's like, oh, this is this is the stupidest thing. They call it a, um, an eat-in kitchen. It's like there's no room for a dining room, so it's got this weird bar that you could theoretically eat at. It's like a breakfast nook, but it's also your only space for a table. You know, like okay, I think that's defensible if you live alone, right? Yeah, like that you yeah. don't have a dining table. But if you have, like, if you're ever trying to get pussy, you can't do that. I don't know. I think you just have to get, like, a food that's acceptable to eat on the floor. Yeah. I don't know. You get a pizza, bro. You can play that shit off. Okay, so here's what happens. Right off this um, this uh, open room <laughs> is, like, a half bathroom, right? Okay. It's got, like, it's it's just a shitter, right? And then you go into this room, which is only accessible by going through the bathroom. <laughs> so <laughs> you can put a little sphinx in the bathroom. <laughs> you can go you can only enter here by <laughs> shitting my doo-doo ass. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fucking sick, bro. I think you should make it so it's like a fake wall, like yeah. a fake door. Yeah. And you have to just flush the toilet. To open it. <laughs> I think like <laughs> I think that's the next natural step. It's like one of those like <laughs> secret rooms that you like pull a book and it opens up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like take off the tank lid, and there's like a switch <laughs> or something. Like, there's like a parchment scroll that instructs you how to continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this house went for a hundred and eighty-five thousand oh. dollars. It's like under a thousand square feet. Awesome. Reasonable. Uh, houses are hard. They are tough. They are tough, bro. Look at that bathroom. Yeah, when's the last time you took it a bath? Oh, you know what? It was actually very recent. When I was um, oh, yeah. I was feeling real sick about a month ago, and I was like, oh, you know what? Would, what would fix me? <laughs> it was like, it would be a <laughs> bath. And I went to go take a bath, and I was like, yeah. And Jillian was like, are you taking a bath? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, I wanted to use the shower tonight. And I'm like, sorry, I gotta take a bath. <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do. Kingship, bro. 
I, Ugh. you know what? I'd like to try a bath bomb one time, bro. Yeah. I'm just scared what it would do to my pipes. I'm scared what it would do to my, uh, my masculinity. Bro. <laughs> 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 no, let's look at bath bombs, bro. Let me yeah, go check out what Lush has well, got going on. They always have some of the bombs. most like luxurious stuff over there. Well, let me ask you real quick about this house. Uh, we, we got in a big argument earlier today. Are you pro or anti lawn? I, uh, ooh, probably like, okay, what's the living situa situation? Let's say Am you I own a house on? and it's got grass in front of it. Are you pro or anti that grass? Probably like anti that grass. What the fuck? Not like kill it, but like, am I going to go out of my way to care for it? I don't, is that what you're asking? Probably not. I'm getting owned what? online. Chat got mad at me. <laughs> chat, what, chat. Are, you a, are you a huge lawn guy? You like to take care of the grass? I, I like to have a kept lawn, and Chad is like, that is a fascist tendency. And I'm like, okay. No, it's not. I think it's you're totally right. normal. I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> oh. Well, in that case, I, yes, I like to. Uh, <laughs> let's check out these bath bombs. Pool versus 5,000 bath bombs experiment. Uh, that's cool, but I'm looking for more like a normal bath bomb. It's just like the, the pole fucking explodes. The world's oldest bath bomb. No. Oh, here we go. Intergalactic bath bomb by Lush. Wait, was that the Millennium Puzzle? That they <laughs> he, was, he was putting the soul of Atem in the, in the water. Intergalactic. Ooh, this out. That's kind of nice. Oh, they should make like male bath bombs that are like, it's like a baseball. They should make like a Kinder Egg. That like <laughs> dissolves toy. in the tub, yeah. so it like dissolves and you get like a prize when yeah. it comes out. <laughs> it's like I'm worried about my masculinity, but I'm not beating the man-child allegations. Wait, I would like like a like a toy. Damn. Okay, that does look pretty. So cool. is it just like wait, what is is it just like soap? Is that what that is? Just like some kind of soap or something? Yeah, I actually don't know what it is. It is soap, says chat. Oh, you could just like marinate in this and come out all squeaky. It's clean. bath salts. Oh, can you eat this and then go crazy? <laughs> Do you remember but, like? Um, yeah, go remember ahead. when everything was like bacon flavored or bacon oh scented? Oh my god! Yeah, it was like I, I, epic meal time had a stranglehold on culture. <laughs> <laughs> bacon yeah. strips, bacon like, strips, bacon strips. There's probably like a bacon bath bomb that's got to exist. I'm right? sure. Oh, we yeah. just pulled it out halfway. Oh, put, oh, the, put that shit back in. That's that. disgusting. That, that's that's like radioactive at that oh, point. Oh my gotta god. Like let it go. Oh. They don't did you ever play with this. um? What were the little? Did you ever have like dinosaurs and stuff that you could put in water and they would like expand? Oh, like the pills. Yeah, the pills. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah you ever they, have it's those? like my favorite thing. Those, I loved those. And my parents didn't like that I liked them because they were like, "You're gonna confuse these for real pills," and I was like, "No." I loved them. It was the beta evolution pill. <laughs> but just oh man, think about taking a dip in that. That that you know, I honestly, I liked the idea, but now that I look at it, I'm like, I bet I would feel less clean after that. Right? No, if I'd go with the intergalactic bath bomb. What's like? I'd a, probably like. I'd imagine it'd be convenient to have something with like maybe flowers or something. Is there it. like a an an introductory bath bomb? <laughs> <laughs> bath bomb easy oh. level. They should top ramen should release ramen bath bombs, dude. You bath just, bombs oh, for beginners. Go. Here we go. Okay, this one's just pink. Oh, she needs a bath. Look at this. Are easier to mold with. <laughs> Results. Here we go. Do you ever play with like kinetic sand? It's a little after my time. Um, I mean, I'm sure I would really like it. I'm sure I'd like it now. I'd like to play with. It. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know, okay. I really appreciate the like the increased focus on like ADHD and like stimming and stuff, mostly because we get fun little toys like every six months. Like we had like fidget spinners, and then we had that cube for a while. You remember that they sold at like gas stations? Oh, yeah. You know the one that's really fucking doing it for me is that like segmented cube that you can fold up. I I fuck with that regularly. Segmented cube you can fold up, huh? Yeah. It's no marble I, in a bag, I, yeah, Chad. Just like this. 
What's the one that I've been not really feeling, bro? It's like a it's like a little button push game. Hold on, kid. I've just been super busy lately. I'm gonna find this. Oh, here you go, bro. I, I'm wondering how fast your reflexes would be on something like this. Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tembu. Oh no. Ooh. I didn't expect it like, like plays a little it, it's this like a is Simon like a, says kind whoa. of thing. Yeah, it's like a little Simon says it like glows up with one that you have to push and then you like push it and then it'll give you two in order or something like that and you have to push those. Oh man, I bet your Kinda fucking hand eye coordination is going crazy. Oh my god, absolutely. Your fine motor skills are gonna be out of this world. <laughs> there's a uh there's a runescape boss. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, uh, plug Will of the Council. They talked about that the other day. But there's a there's a RuneScape boss mm -hmm. who has a mechanic that um you have to like do essentially this game mid boss. Oh, like, that's it'll sick. pop up and it'll give you like a combination of buttons you have to push. For it's kind of funny. It's pretty sick. Ooh, these are sick. I ooh, they also sell ones that heighten your foraging instinct. Oh, I think this is for oh, I think this is for dogs actually. Wait. Hold up. Well, call, rough, rough, bro. Call yeah. me. Fill it up with high-value treats. That. I want high-value treats. I'm going to be starting <laughs> with a sniffing. <laughs> he finally got one. Did you ever have, like, a... What were some of the, the favorite toys to play as like with as a kid? I had, like, a... Oh. Uh, what was it? A leap pad? A leapfrog pad oh, or something yeah. like that? Oh, yeah. I had, um... Uh, it wasn't a leap pad, because that was too much like a Game Boy. My parents were immediately suspicious of anything with, that was like a Game Boy. Um... Let me see if I can find what I'm... Yeah, I had a Leapfrog Turbo Twist Math that was oh, fucking that insane. Um, the, I, mine is a different generation than the one that they're showing here. But, yeah, it's this. Oh, this shit went nuts. Um, oh, it was unbelievable. I'm trying to think. My favorite stuff to play with was I had a... Uh, like a little plastic set of, I don't really know how to describe it. It was like a parking puzzle where like cars okay. would be parked in an orientation that they couldn't get out of the lot and you had to do moves. It was like a logic puzzle. Rush hour. That's the one. It's rush hour. That shit, Look that, that was the fucking toy. That leapfrog turbo thing, it reminds me of, um, yeah, this is it. what was it called? It's it called it? like a skip it or something like that. I don't know if you were... It was like a thing it had a ring. You would put it around your foot, and you'd yes. have to like jump over it. Yeah, it was called skip or something like that. Not bop it. It's not bop it. That's Skippity also what toilet. it looks like. But that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Did you ever? Here's another. Hey, let me show you this, bro. Yeah. What do you got? Do you remember? Does the the name Bullseye Ball ring a bell to you? It sounds familiar. This was one of my favorite things. Oh, I, I always saw commercials for this, and I begged my parents for it, and this they were like, fun. "You're gonna lose the balls," and I was like, "You're right." I'm no. <laughs> I remember all I would do is I figured out one time where you could just take the, the top hole and you could just like finger it and, <laughs> and it would give you like a million points. And I thought I was Oh, like, you were practicing. Genius, you were practicing yeah. young. Yeah. All your all your friends were like, I can't find the clit. You were like, you fucking amateurs. Watch it. They're like, how did he get 300 points in 60 seconds? How is he so good at this marble basket? Yeah, I put my first girlfriend in the hospital, but uh, it was, you know, it was worth it. We were bullseye balling. I was bullseye balling out, baby. Oh, my God. Like, it was awesome, though. Yeah, I, yeah it's, like, it's like shitty skee ball. I loved skee ball. I'm trying to think, like, God, what toys did I like? I was big into books. I was big into, like, flashcards. I was a little weird kid in that way. I was big into card flash games. Card. I love card games. I love Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! I played a lot of. Um, I played a lot with uh, Play-Doh. Oh, Play-Doh was, was so nice. I was a big nice. Play-Doh kid. Uh, my family... Uh, well, you know what? I never really understood. My mom would always tell us not to like mix the Play-Doh. And her reasoning was, if you mix the Play-Doh, it would get all hard. Mm. I don't think that was actually what she happened. Was lying I think to you're you. just yeah. supposed to not mix it to keep it you know, <laughs> in its own state. Yeah. But all, I remember all the Play-Doh always got hard. I also oh. was... Um, what was another big thing we were? Chat says Bionicles. Poly Pockets. I, I was a Bionicle kid. My sister kid. had Poly Pockets. Oh, man. I played. Oh, Bionicles, bro. I fucking played with uh, with Barbies. I was, like, really into um The Little Mermaid as a kid. Uh, mm -hmm. And I had an Ariel that if you put it underwater, would, her hair and tail would change color. 
and I played with that probably until I was like 22. Uh, <laughs> that, that shit was fucking crazy. Yeah, I just crazy. stopped playing with it last week, bro. I finally put it away. Yeah. Connects. <laughs> Connects was probably my all time favorite toy. Connects was, I, I like, that's the number one wait, thing I'm going to give Kinect? my kids. I, is it the thing that I remember what it is, too? I have to see it. Oh, they still sell them. I, um... Oh, thank God. Oh, they're kind of different now. Yeah, they're a little harder to accidentally swallow. <laughs> What do they look like? This is see. it, man. Holy, this is the this is the shit, man. It's these uh these little oh, pinwheel oh things. Oh my god, bro. Ooh, I fucked heavy with the with the connects. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Fuck me. These Can I ask? So them, nice. You ever play Mousetrap? You know, I did. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. Do you know this how time. to? You know how to play Mousetrap? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Even as a child, I was a big board game freak. And, like, I would go over to my friend's house and they'd be like, let's play Mousetrap. And what they meant was set up Mousetrap and fire it. And I'd be like, there's a game attached to this. That's, that's all I would do. You, you have to play the game. <laughs> it was like, you remember um, every Pokemon person on YouTube is like, and, of course, Pokemon cards. So we never knew how to play the game. We just liked the art. I was like, I knew how to play the game. I didn't give a fuck about the art. Of course you did. I never knew how to play, bro. I didn't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! either. I was like nine like, years old and I was like, oh, paralysis is like far and away like the most broken status condition in this game. And my brother was like, I like Toto Dial. Like <laughs> He was he was playing That's correctly. Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Pokemon TCG oh, on Game Boy was peak god. I Man, sometimes I think about the way my brain works and I go, ah, I should have known. But like Pokemon TCG, I could map out in my head all of the coin flips. Like the coin flips were a deterministic repeating pattern. And you could map, you could load in, fire a bunch of cards that would coin flip, and then load out, load back in with a different deck, and you would know every single coin flip in sequence. And so I would just commit it to memory and then clear like a crazy boss with a high roll deck. Uh, is, you're such a nerd, bro. It was, it was dope. <sighs> I'm trying to think of something else I had. Um, oh, I'm now you got me thinking about Bullseye Ball. Let me search cool toys from the early 2000s. Uh, oh, you know what I just played the other day? Yeah. Uh, Susu bought a he bought a chess set, bro. Yeah. And uh, I'm not like good at chess. I I used to play a lot of chess as a kid, just with like some family members. Yeah. But um. I realize that's something like now that I play like I guess Yu-Gi-Oh and it's taken like the the mystery out of it I play like meta and stuff mm -hmm. it's like sort of ruined the fun of chess for me because yep. I know like I'm not making optimal opens and stuff yep exact I'm, like, same well, I, yeah I'm like I just I'm not I know I'm not making the right plays and then I get frustrated that I'm not as a, as a here? child I was like the way you play chess is you intuit like what the best move is and in your next position and then my parents saw that i like chess so they got me like a book and the book was like here's how you become a grandmaster and it was just like a list of opens and it was like memorize mm -hmm. these and i was like i don't like this anymore this this yeah, sucks yeah oh dude did you have webkins i did not have web jillian had webkins oh i, didn't have webkins. I had a webkins bro i had a webkins duck and yeah. this is funny i had a duck and i wanted to name this duck noodle mm -hmm. and i put noodle? it and I, I put it in webkins yeah noodle and I, I I spelt it with my little kid brain N O D D L E. That's not noddle? how you spell noodle. Noddle. And yeah, yeah. And my my mom, the sweetheart she was, she told me about it like three days later when she saw. And then I just said, Nah, I meant to do that. He was supposed to, definitely to be named Noddle. Who said Webkins was ass? Fucking ban them. Die. Webkins was the shit. Mods oh crush his skull. Uh, what about did you an have, easy bake oven? You, you know, I begged my parents for an easy bake oven. Um and I think they I think they just didn't get why I would want it. Um they were like, "Well, you can just I was like, I want to make little cookies." And they're like, "You can just make cookies in the oven oven." I was like, <laughs> yeah. "I don't think you understand what the point of this yeah. is." And but unfortunately, I'm a, I'm I couldn't a stupid kid. I did it easy. I, I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't argue with their logic. No, because like I knew how to make cookies. We did it like as a family. And so uh, they would be like, why can't you make them in the oven? And I would be like, why can't I make them in the oven? Why do I want the fucking easy bake oven? And they were like, you know what I don't get? it's not a real oven. It just has a light on the bottom. And I'm like, you're not not selling me on this. Like what I want is, <laughs> I think they thought, you know what I think they thought? I think they were like, he's fruity enough. He doesn't need the cookware. <laughs> you know what I don't get? 
Why yeah. is that? This reminds me of something like I remember Easy Bake of an always being like marketed as a, a little girl item. Yes. And what they would do is sometimes they would have like these boy counterparts mm -hmm. and they had a boy counterpart to the Easy Bake Oven. And the whole gimmick was it was like it was gross. gross shit. Yes. It was like bugs and spiders. It was like the it and was like it was called like a it was like a science lab too. I, I hated it. I, I always hated that stuff was marketed that way. Cause like I was never like I like spiders and worms and shit. I don't I, who are most boys like that chat? Yes or no. No, I like, think they aren't. Like I don't I think that they are marketing to a type of boy that doesn't exist. I I yeah, wanted to no. cook. I wanted to chef it up. Like I said, I used to play with like Polly Pockets and stuff with my sisters. That's that's Polly Pockets. They they fuck. Them. They're great. Jillian um had her Polly Pockets taken away because she kept chewing on them. Oh, I, it was easy to do though. They so are they stuff. are very chewable. I like she told me that <laughs> thinking that I would make fun of her, and I was like, I probably chewed on like dozens nah, of Polly nah, Pockets. Nah. Yeah, I was like, I think they're I'll... very edible. My brother got like a Barbie doll shoe stuck up his nose. Oh no! And he had to go to the ER to get it removed. Oh, what did Jillian get stuck up her nose? She got, she got something stuck way up her nose, and she had to go to the ER. Yeah, and they couldn't get it, and they were like, "Can you please try to blow out of your nose?" And they got it out that way after a while. <laughs> no, I, I hadn't it, thought about that. Let me give no, that a shot. Well, she had thought about it, but like with the pressure. Now that everyone was watching her, she was like, "Now I have to perform," and she did it really hard, and it, it like there was all this blood too, and she was like, "Oh no." Ugh. I, experience. I mean, I used to pick my nose as a kid, but like, me too. I don't remember just shoving stuff in there. Did you, did you put stuff up your nose? Never put stuff up my nose. I did pick my nose and I did eat it. And I remember, uh, the I, reason I ate it is someone was like, you shouldn't eat it. And then I ate it and I was like, that was pretty good. I could fuck this up. <laughs> yeah. It's the same reason I used to, and I You're still like, to a little like, degree. Mm. I still, uh, I still bite my, uh, fingernails or I bite, I bit my fingernails all through my childhood. And um, I, I have now almost cured myself of the habit at age 30. But I remember why I do it is um, <clears throat> uh, I had a camp counselor when I was like 11 years old. And we were playing Would You Rather. He says, would you rather eat 10 pounds of worms or one ounce of human flesh? I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay, I'm not eating 10 pounds of worms. I was like, one ounce of human flesh, you know. If I were to just bite my finger, like my cuticles, I bet I could get one ounce over the course of my life. And then I just started doing it. And then <laughs> and then after that, I couldn't stop because my cuticles would always be a little torn up and I would have to bite it to even them out. Like they would never heal all the way. And so that was just how it was. Story. I have like, my cuticles are really fucked up. I pick at them. I don't yeah. like bite them. I used to bite them, but I pick at them a lot. And so mm -hmm. like my thumbs in particular, they're like... There's just these gouges in them. But um, my dad used to try to get me to stop doing that because he told me if I were to bite at my cuticles, they'll grow back, but, like, they'll look like mushrooms or something like that. He's oh. like, they'll grow back all flat and weird. And I was like, I, I don't want that to happen. Oh. Yeah. Did it work? No. I still be picking them. <laughs> I still be picking that shit, bro. It's like I said. It's just my thumbs. I don't like chew at my my cuticles or anything like that anymore. It's just it's just I pick at my thumbs. Mm. Bad habit. I can't hit. I I wish I could quit it, but I can't. Yeah. Uh, men are so weird. Just don't fuck up your own flesh. You literally wouldn't understand, Scarlon. I don't know how to be. You just wouldn't get it. <laughs> you just wouldn't get it. Um, I'm trying to think. What would? Eh. How much is one ounce of human flesh? It's got to be like a finger, maybe. A finger's probably even more than it's like that. Like nothing, bro. An ounce yeah. of human flesh? I could probably do that. Yeah. Uh, an ounce see... of flesh taken from closest to your heart, etc. Do you ever see like some people like grow a lot of dead skin on their like feet? Oh yes. Like it just kind of like crusts up there. Oh, I hate to be like this. Um, in adulthood, I have become that guy. I don't know how. I was <sighs> never like this growing up. It's like a last happen? five years type of thing. I think it has to I do don't with get like it. it's so disgusting. I wear I wear Crocs everywhere, and I'm sure that doesn't help. I think you do have to wear socks for some amount of time a day, and you should put lotion on your feet. But like, in the last couple of years, I've become that person, and I'm just like, I these are this is so gross. How do I get rid of it? And I have no idea. I remember my mom's feet were always disgusting like that. And I just don't know how that happens. I don't know how you develop something like that, bro. <laughs> you wear Crocs like the shoes for kids. Okay, actually, Darth Jawa Five, fuck you. Uh, they make adult <laughs> Crocs. They make, they make they make business Crocs. 
Yeah, you tell him, bro. <laughs> you tell oh, him. were you were you on the wheel where we did the Crocs? Was that you? Uh, the um, oh my god, the uh, the dress code one. I yeah, think yeah, that might yeah. have been ours. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah uh, no, if I, you guys want to hear me and the, Gage rap about casual. Crocs. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, bro. If you want to, if you want to define business casual, check out Will of the Council. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I went to uh TwitchCon this year. Um, I I think I'm going this year as well. But I went last year and, um they had for partners they had crocs like branded twitch crocs and i was like let's fucking go and they only got like 20 pairs and people got them in like 30 seconds what? and i was like you I'll should have given these Ugh. go to ebay let's see what the resale value of those are. Yeah, those have got to be them. a collector's item they were like i i went up and i wanted them and they were like are you a women's size four because that's all we have and i almost wanted to be like <laughs> yes give me the fucking yes. crocs <laughs> i'll fit um i thought you said it wasn't that good, TwitchCon. It was bad, yeah. It was. So you're not gonna good. go again? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, I feel like I feel like maybe I didn't give it a fair shake. I I know that I did, and I'm gonna go there and be upset. I'm looking I mean, up did Twitch. Did you do Crocs. any like the after parties and stuff like that? No, I didn't do the after parties, but like, that's the thing is like, do I really want to go to an after party with Twitch people? No, not really. So mm -hmm. why? What am I True. going for? True. <sighs> I remember we were we were there for like four. You were 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 you there for this? For what? TwitchCon. No, I wasn't there. No, I could, it was it was at Alex's, but yeah. Um, the whole time, chaotic meatball was like, "I'm gonna get you to meet the act man, so you two can like make up and take a picture together." <laughs> and I kept being like, "I don't want to do that." <laughs> I don't want to. No, that's not something why? I'm interested that's in. Awkward, bro. <laughs> uh, no, I called him an asshole. <laughs> uh, I wonder what that guy's up to. I hope, I hope he's he having a, a good time. Yeah, I. You know, I hope. I hope his career is going well. Yeah, I, I. To some degree, I know it's like it's punching up. So a lot of people, are, oh, it's okay, no matter what. But it d it did feel bad to be like I'm just wailing on this guy because he just doesn't know the intricacies of this thing that he does as a hobby like for me this shit's serious <laughs> uh, all right buddy we gotta start um, making those videos though i think so that's how we um that's how we're gonna make our millions let's let's buy an easy bake oven bro yeah and then let's do a cooking video with you're it. raleigh a right yeah i'll be there i'll bring an easy bake oven to raleigh Let's go. <laughs> I'm not gonna do, that. Let's go. do you have Do you have lodging, by the way? <clears throat> no, I don't. I I'm literally. Fuck. I've been talking to the guys. We're trying to figure out something literally last minute here. I think we might even. I might just pull a day trip Saturday and then head back. We um. Night. Let me get Danny to send you something because we had one, and it our booking person rescinded our reservation today, and so they can do that. Oh, apparently. Uh, th well, so they, they are not really allowed to. So Airbnb gave us like 600 free dollars to rebook. Um, oh, and we okay. got a real nice place. But um, Danny and Jordan have been looking at places all day as a result. So they probably have additional places if you guys What's like the, um, the length you guys are staying? Uh, we're doing, I think, Friday night, Saturday night. And then we're leaving like Sunday. Let me see what it okay. is. We might be doing one additional night, but I can't remember if it's Thursday or Sunday. Yeah, the other alternative we've been discussing is just getting a hotel Friday. So, I mean, if you'd be willing to lodge us for a day, we can chip in, but... Uh, he, hmm, like it, at our place? Yeah, depending uh, on how big the place yeah, is. Yeah, I'll have to know. see it's how like, big it is. Um, the, yeah. the issue with it is there's uh, going to be four of us there, and there's only three mm -hmm. beds. And so... Um, and Leah and Danny can't be in the same bed for obvious reasons because I won't let that happen. Yeah. yeah. So no, that'd, that'd, you know it's already a tight awful. fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah just really, shoot yeah. me a message. Wait. So oh, this whole thing was how do I find your podcast? Oh, I uh, type in. I would say the table podcast does it not come up there. Uh, no. Maybe, Maybe we go to like people channels. Uh, let me. This has been something that actually, funny enough, got brought up before. Um, wow, it's not even if you scroll down there. Yeah, I think Dan brought this up that it's a it's a problem to to find the podcast after. Let me get. 
Are they published? Yeah, it's just that we have a couple episodes published. I just don't know why it doesn't show up at all. Is it like linked somewhere on your shit? Yeah. Um, give me just a second. I can get it here. Oh, wait, here it is. Wait. Late night TCG. That's three years ago. <clears throat> here, bro. Shit. Uh, Discord. That's the YouTube. We have like two episodes up or something, but we we stream it all the time. What um, the fuck? Yeah, head, head Wait, why could why could we not find this? I don't know. It, it feels like it stands out, and it's like it's got it's not a lot. It's got like a hundred subs, but I feel like it should have stood out. <laughs> why did they say that? Did you say the N word in this one? I literally don't know. No, probably <laughs> not. I didn't say. <laughs> No, I mean, if anybody, I, I, guys, if anybody wants to check out our uh, our podcast, please actually give it a look. Um, we've been putting uh, the streams have been great. We actually just streamed it while you were live here. We did a little one, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been great. That's um, good. So if you guys want to get a little bit of a, it's not Yu-Gi-Oh related too. There's there's the, like, thank okay, the fucking Lord. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh related. Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! We start with like maybe like ten minutes of Yu-Gi-Oh, and then we yeah. get into anything else. So <laughs> so. <sighs> yeah yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. People check it out, though. It's been a lot of fun. Love working with those guys. Can you give us, um, before we head out, can you give us a hint on the next prog? Uh, honestly, uh, we are so far ahead. If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I, you and I, I think we're both like, what, like almost two and a half months ahead now? Yeah. Alex has been like, he's been putting together a lot for, like a backlog for a little bit for something. And uh, at this point, I, I think I'm like six or seven episodes deep or something. We're, we're way in there. Uh -huh. All right. Yep. All right, buddy. Um, I'm going to let you continue stream. Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to get off. Bye. Bye, buddy. What a nice young man. <laughs> uh, I'm glad he picked up and we just fucking talked about nothing for 40 minutes. Uh, okay.